Hello, and welcome to Lesson 1 of the Introduction to Big Data and Hadoop course offered by Simply Learn. This lesson provides an introduction to Big Data. Further, it gives an introduction to Hadoop as a Big Data technology. Let us explore the objectives of this lesson in the next screen. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain the characteristics of Big Data Describe the basics of Hadoop and HDFS architecture. List the features and processes of MapReduce. Describe the basics of PIG. In the next screen, we will focus on the need for Big Data. Following are the reasons why Big Data is needed. By an estimate, around 90% of the world's data has been created in the last two years alone. Moreover, 80% of the data is unstructured or available in widely varying structures which are difficult to analyze. As IT systems are being developed, it has been observed that structured formats like databases have some limitations with respect to handling large quantities of data. It has also been observed that it is difficult to integrate information distributed across multiple systems. Further, most business users do not know what should be analyzed and discover requirements only during the development of IT systems. As data has grown, so have data lakes within enterprises. Potentially valuable data for varied systems such as Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP and Supply Chain Management or SCM are either dormant or discarded. It is often too expensive to integrate large volumes of unstructured data. Information such as natural resources has a short, useful lifespan and is best used in a limited time span. Further, information is best exploited for business value if context is added to it. In the next screen, we will focus on the characteristics of Big Data. Big Data has three characteristics, namely variety, velocity, and volume. Variety encompasses managing the complexity of data in many different structures, ranging from relational data to logs and raw text. Velocity accounts for the streaming of data and movement of large volume of data at a high speed. Volume denotes the huge scaling of data, ranging from terabytes to zettabytes and more. In this screen, we will discuss the characteristics of Big Data Technology. Big Data Technology helps to respond to the characteristics discussed in the previous screen. It helps to process the growing volumes of data in a cost-efficient way. For example, as per IBM, Big Data Technology has helped to turn the 12 terabytes of tweets created daily into improved product sentiment analysis. It has converted 350 billion annual meter readings to better predict power consumption. Big Data Technology also helps to respond to the increasing velocity of data. For example, it has scrutinized 5 million trade events created daily to identify potential frauds. It has helped to analyze 500 million daily call detail records in real time to predict customer churn faster. Big Data Technology can collectively analyze the wide variety of data. For example, it has helped to monitor hundreds of live video feeds from surveillance cameras to target points of interest for security agencies. It has also been able to exploit the 80% data growth in images, videos, and documents to improve customer satisfaction. According to Gartner.com, Big Data is high volume, high velocity, and high variety information assets that demand cost-effective, innovative forms of information processing for enhanced insight and decision-making. In the next screen, we will focus on the appeal of big data technology.